When I began photography, that whole thing, is photography art, was a sort of huge question. Well, is it the photographer or the camera taking this picture, you know? My name is Miles Aldridge. I'm working on my second book of Polaroids called Please, Please Return Polaroid. For a long time, uh, I just really wanted to ha have the same career as my father. I wanted to be pretty much the same as him, you know. So I went to art school to learn illustration. But actually, as soon as I got to art school, I was exposed, you know, to just like hundreds of other influences. It showed me so many other things from, you know, like Egon Schiller to Picasso, Michelangelo, you know, artists that I really should have known. I went all the way through art school and I came out as an illustrator. And actually when I came out, it felt really boring to be an illustrator back in mid, early to mid eighties. I was doing illustrations for banks sort of a, you know, a tree with some pound coins on it. I just thought, this is crazy. You know, I'm like 25 years old. I'm like stuck on this table doing these like kind of small paintings. You know, surely you have bigger ambitions than that. And I started directing pop videos. Not very well, to be honest. They were pretty, uh, pretty poor. The main problem I had was I never liked the music, you know, that I was given <laughs> to play, to do a, a film to. So I was always trying to make, um, make my kind of art film. And at the same time, my girlfriend uh, had begun modeling. And so she asked me to take a photograph of her so she could have it in her portfolio. And I did the very, very sort of really simple photograph just in black and white in a park. And this portfolio ended up in a meeting with her at Vogue. And they said, hey, who took this portrait? It's really cool. And so then after the meeting, uh, I said, how was Vogue? And she said, they want to meet you. I nearly like, choked on my beer at the time we were in the pub and I was like, couldn't believe this, what? And I just said yes to everything. You know, I said, yeah, I had nothing to lose. I really just fell into this, this kind of universe of, um, of fashion. It was a great time to land in that world actually because the magazines were open to any interesting image. It gave me incredible freedom. But I wanted my work to have a distinctive look. And then once they kind of found that, I didn't really change it. So the Polaroids are in there span 20 years easily, but they all tie together. They all feel like images from the same kind of film. I kind of made some rules for myself about visuals, like how things should look, how people should, you know, appear. I never liked the idea of models acting, overacting, because I felt it just felt really cringy. I prefer the emotion to be expressed through the situation through the mise-en-scene, through the props, through the placement, through the color. I would see my work as images rather than photographs. I wasn't beholden to the rules of photography per se. I really hated some of the, the kind of fundamental aspects of photography, like this idea of it being an instant moment from you know, Cartier-Bresson. I really didn't like that at all because my photographs took ages to do. So they were never about a moment. They were about time being sort of like stretched out. Any element of the idea of the photograph as a snap or as an instant in time, I tried to stop. This is not just um, a, a brief moment. This is, this is almost like a whole movie or it has that kind of length of time to it. And so I, where I can, I've always tried to break that photographic kind of cliche of the moment.